Good morning, everyone. It's been a long while since I've been on YouTube, and um, I thought I'll get on, get back on, get back on track, and start with this video. Um, it's been a while. I just took some time off to just kind of figure out what I really want in life, and um kind of have a little bit of a mental break from social media and um, just kind of reconfigure what I want in my life. So anyway, um, today is my wedding anniversary and we've been married for 15 years. Can't even believe that. And um, I actually woke up kind of crabby. I was really crabby today. Um... I don't know why. I think I was tired the past, the past weekend. I've been sick and I just basically flat on my back um, all weekend. And I needed to just kind of recoup from that. And it's just, it hasn't been fun. Obviously, being sick isn't fun at all. Um, but how have you guys been? You know, um, a lot has changed. A lot has changed. I am... I feel like a different person. I feel like, I don't know, like my priorities are changing. And the things that I'm interested in and things that I used to be concerned about are uh, no longer. Like, I just, I just feel like my priority has shifted and I'm more into like the peace of mind than the chase. You know, I used to be... A, such a go-getter and I think I'm still a go-getter but like in a different way if that makes any sense which is why I kind of took a back seat from YouTube because you know like I'm someone that likes to do things purposefully and not just to do it for the sake of doing and I felt like at some point I kind of lost my way um and I needed to find myself again and I took like off and on like a long time and for the most part I just wasn't feeling like inspired motivated it just felt like a chore it felt tiring it felt like I'm trying to squeeze any ideas I have out of myself to produce something and I think I think I, it was kind of like a what do you call it? A content creator burnt out. I think that's really what I was suffering from. Um, and obviously on the personal aspect of life, I felt like, you know, things have changed. I'm no longer in my um, stressful job. And, you know, a lot of things have calmed down quite a bit for me, which thankfully so. Um, but it's like everything in my world kind of changed in an instant and and I felt kind of lost like okay now all this hustle and bustle and crazy and chaos and everything kind of stopped because I made a decision and then now I'm here and what do I do with that situation so it's kind of weird right like sometimes they say be careful what you wish for and what you wish for could be a good thing but then knowing how to utilize the situation is not a different story. So, funny thing is that today I woke up super crabby. And I've been thinking about, you know, there's this nudge when you have a passion. There's this nudge that keeps reminding you and keep kind of pushing you towards that taking action. And it's been like months since I have this nudge to like, hey, pick up your camera again. You know, like, let's get going on this YouTube, like, but I'm like, okay, I want to do it, but I feel different. I feel like my priorities has changed, but, and, and I want my channel to reflect, um, who I am and, you know, where I'm at, at this stage of my life and not try to create content to create content like I did. Like, I guess essentially I'm trying to not put myself in a situation where I feel like completely burnt out like I did before. You know, that's not really where I want to be. Um, I want it to be like 
something that is manageable that doesn't drain me of my creativity essentially and uh, something that I feel represents where I am at at the stage of my life and I'm just trying to figure out like how do I present that to the world you know um, that is more authentic to myself to who I am right now and to take my channel to that direction and I'm just like okay how do I do that um, and you know me I'm all about signs and synchronicities and the universe and the angels and and all that stuff and um and I guess the angels have been showing me signs and I know it sounds very woo to some of you but you know I think we all have some sort of uh, communication with spirit uh whatever you call it God or the divine or signs that you somehow that spoke to you right so this morning I was like I said crabby I was resentful it was my anniversary I just like oh my gosh you know like you, you kind of get to the get to my age where you have been married for 16 years and you're thinking like what is there what is what is what is going to be the next phase of my marriage and um, what is going to be this new chapter of my life with all this changes and all that's happening you know you kind of get into that reflective state of digesting where your life is at and where your life is going and all that stuff so anyway um, then I went up I, I went to I went into the living room and when I look out my window there was four deers Four deers right in my yard and it's I know it maybe sound like we weird but it's it's exciting to me I, I I don't I've seen deer from across the street but not one not four of them at one time in my yard and I just felt like I felt like it was some sort of message to me and the funny thing is this morning um, as I was feeling crabby and tired and trying to recover and trying to figure out where my life is at I mean <laughs> I know I sound so dramatic but um, there is a quote that came on and it says that the the very passion or joy that you're looking for is can be found in the very work that you're avoiding and it, it really spoke to me it's like it's like the angels are telling me like you want to find passion, you want to find what your next chapter in your life is going to be, you need to stop avoiding what you're meant to do, which is this. Um, I don't know what it is, but about like being on video, it, it, it's not something that I'm comfortable with for some reason. I know maybe it didn't doesn't seem that way to people, but like, I enjoy helping others, I enjoy sharing my life, but something about like doing it on video feels like rehearsed to me, although it isn't because I never really write a script ever, you know, I just kind of share what comes from my heart. And so, which is why I'm doing this video right now because I felt the push today to just do something about it and I'm really hoping that this is speaking to you too you know I think that I don't know what it is maybe it's fear of judgment you know I don't want to be judged for my content or how I've disappeared for such a long time and or whatever but I guess what matters to me right now is that I'm here and I'm just Going with the flow. I still haven't decided where, how I'm going to, you know, present myself to the world. But, um, but I think I will find my way as I go. And I hope that uh, you're still interested in checking out my videos. Interested in learning more about me. And what's been happening in my life. And 
interested in you know um the stuff that i have to share with my channel you know it's probably going to be a little bit different um, I know that I, my my content mostly has been a mix back of once in a while like videos, fashion, um, purses, and then for the bulk of it is really uh, more about the coaching side of things, personal empowerment um, topics. You know, uh, really setting boundaries, um, empath related videos. Um, videos that are related to HSPs and I think that's part of the reason of my evolution is too that I am realizing that I'm more HSP than I think I am so I feel everything very strongly and when I do feel everything very strongly I am a lot in my head about like dissecting why I'm feeling this way and then I think I overthink things and then I it handicaps me and I and I think that it, it makes something simple a lot more than it really is and I re recognize that about myself and I'm gonna try to not be too much in my head I think as a person I've been become more laid back which is a good and a bad thing because laid back means that I'm more passive, which is so opposite than I was. I was a go-getter, you know, if I want to do something, I just do it. Now I just procrastinate a lot. Um, and I hope that this is like the start of taking action, doing something about it, you know, following my calling, what I'm meant to do, and not letting fear or judgment <clears throat> uh, hold me back from expressing myself and um, just letting the true essence of me come out, you know. Um, I have been on my decluttering journey for a long time, but um, there's a lot of changes in my house, a lot of uh, organization happening, um, and I'm going to show you all of that. So this time, I'm going to really share most, more, more of my life with you than just like talking about like topics. But really a, may, a more um, all-rounded uh, view of my day-to-day. -day. I think that's important because um, just because I'm a life coach doesn't mean that I don't have challenges. I'm immune to problems. Like, that's not true. That's not a side that I want you guys to think, you know, that you're a life coach. You, you'll be able to figure everything out and that you, 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 you know, I've been through things. But remember, we are always evolving. Like, this time next year, I will be different. You know, I, I think that we are constantly evolving. What we want, our priorities changes. And what I've learned is that it's okay to take some time away to reevaluate your life, whatever it is. You know, in my in my in my instance it's more about like my career change, like my actual career and then my um putting my priorities in place and um taking some time to heal, you know, and um Taking some time to rest. I think that's important too, to rest. Because when you're tired and the noise is just getting in your head, it's just really hard to to, to weed out the noise and, and to really focus on what your priorities are. And I think that I've somewhat got that sorted out, what my priorities are. And... I think the main thing that I learned is that my priority is myself and to honor how I feel, my feelings and my needs, and to not be afraid to to honor that feeling and to not do something if you don't want to. Because I think as women, we are very obligated, you know, especially if you're a mom, your your wife. Like right now, I have pretty much two teenagers that can't drive 
and half the time I feel like I'm like a chauffeur, you know, I'm driving, I'm driving them to sports, I'm driving them home, I'm driving them to hang out with their friends, and, and, and you just like lose sight of like, is, is, is my whole identity now from a career woman now I'm becoming like a housewife, like I just, you know, attend to my kids all the time and that's not really what I want to be. I, I'm more than that. I'm more than just a mother. I'm just more than just a career woman. I'm, I'm, I'm more than that. So I really took some time to dive within to really find out what, what, what is it that makes me excited? What, is, what am I passionate about? I know I'm, I know I'm passionate about a lot of things, but what is it what can I do with those passions? What can I, how can I make my, make me happy every single day? And I think that that is a very good question to ask yourself if you're out there feeling the same way, you know? Kind of like, you're kind of like a crossroads where your kids are getting older. They don't really need you, but they do. You know, and then your identity has always been responsibility this has been my identity i've always been very responsible do what needs to be done and and i just tire myself out and i lose the passion for things that i i love and i do it out of obligation and the intention and the feeling of doing stuff when you're doing it out of obligation is very different from if you're coming from a place of love with a full heart of really ready to give, you know, and you can pour from an empty cup. That's the other thing. So I think that I have kind of made some strides in, in that aspect. Like, um, if I don't want to do the dishes, I wouldn't do it. And I know like maybe to some of you like the dishes, is like, oh my gosh, it's just dishes, but it's the little things. It's the little things that that bugs you, that starts eating at you, you know, in anything. Things that you think is not a big deal and you just kind of do it because of obligation. Like over time, it becomes something like that is a burden and it tires you out because you're just not wanting to do it. But you have to do it anyway. And then you just become very resentful you know, resentful about things around you, the people around you, the things you have to do. And it's definitely not a good place to be. And I think that um, I am more kind to myself in the sense that I honor my own boundaries if I don't want to do something if I just want to sit I used to be so like I have to do something all the time even when I'm home I'm not working I have to find something to do like I need to do my laundry or I need to be keep busy keep busy keep busy and 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 that is just my way of coping with stress and um doing it out of obligation versus doing it because I feel like I'm ready to do it and I think that goes back to my childhood where, like, I never feel like, I I never made to feel like I can choose to do with myself whatever I want when I want it. And it, it just became a part of me where, like, truly in my heart, I want to rest. Truly in my heart, I don't want to do this at this particular moment. But I feel like I'm obligated to do something else because I have to. And it's 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 an internal thing. It's not like nobody's forcing me, but it's it's you know, it's something that I can control. And it's definitely a habit that I had to um to get into, you know, and I think that the learnings for me when I took this break was really to honor my feelings and to respect my boundaries and to give myself the time and the kindness I need to heal and to respect the boundaries that I have for myself and to challenge myself to be uncomfortable 
you know, and I, 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 I think I have done that because not being on YouTube is not something that I choose to do, but I felt like it would be for the best for a while to take that break. And I think that I feel guilt to my followers. I feel guilt to, you know, people who supported me. I feel guilt to myself because uh, it's my passion. The whole point of YouTube and coaching, it's, it's, it's part of my passion. And I felt like I felt guilty towards myself because I'm not honoring what I call my passion. But then I also needed to honor myself where I feel, I feel, I feel burnt out. I feel, um, that I needed that break. And, you know, um, and then it comes to those other little things that I started honoring myself. Like, you know, if I wanted to take a break, I'll take a break. Um, and I feel like I wanted to take a break from social media. I'll do that. Um, I want to take a break from being around people. I'll do that. And not feel guilty about it. I think the main thing is guilt is such a such a heavy feeling to have because you know even if you're doing certain things you don't feel like you're enjoying it because half the time you're feeling guilty and that's not the way to be. So I thought I'd come back on you know um, to kind of share my life and let you know what what. What I've been up with me, what's up with me, what I, you know, want to do. Um, I know that I want to be back. I know that I want to create more content. Um, I know that being on the camera is not like something that I'm super comfortable with. Um, and I'm still struggling with that. But I felt like a calling that I, it's something that I needed to do. And maybe people don't understand it. I don't even understand it myself, but... Um, but it's something that I felt like I'm, I'm, I'm called to share my experience, um, and to help others see that they're not alone, that they can make a change, that evolution means many things to many people, you know, and definitely ev my evolution is ever evolving from year to year but I think it's made me a better person it makes me it's made me a um, it, it makes me empathize with others a little bit more and most importantly have empathy for myself because I think sometimes we are so kind to other people and we would do all these things for other people but we're just not doing it for ourselves and I don't understand that about that ourselves you know about that I don't understand why we are so kind to others but we're not so much to ourselves i think it's because we, we just don't think that we needed that or we put other people first and i think i'm really learning how to put myself first which is strange to say because i'm always a people pleaser but i think that as i get older i realize that the quality of life means so much more than people pleasing quality of life is more about pleasing yourself what what makes you happy what makes you tick what makes you excited about life and i think that's definitely um something that i value much more than i did before and i know i've rented for 25 minutes 24 minutes um but I just wanted you guys to know I'm back. I'm here to share my life with you. A lot has changed. I have changed. But I'm back and I'm hoping that I can make an impact in your life. Um, I think that I'm slowly but surely coming through, coming out of my, my funk. And um, I'm hoping that this will be a good start for me to, um, you know, start having more consistent videos, whatever the content is. The good news is we're in November. And I kind of want to jumpstart starting November slowly but surely and have a little bit more direction going into January. And I hope that you're still here to support me. And for those of you who do, I so appreciate you. Know that you mean so much to me. Um, I want to build a community that is supportive. And I want to build a community that 
you know, we can be vulnerable and we can, you know, struggle together and still be there for one another without judgment. And whether it be me that's struggling or you that's struggling, that this is a community that we can come to for support, come to for inspiration, come to for empowerment. And um, I want it to be a welcoming community for, for people from all walks of life. And I hope that through my daily life and sharing my struggles and um, little bits and pieces that I'm sharing with you in terms of content will inspire you to create a life that that is, you know, that is best for you, that you define for yourself, that brings you joy and happiness and one that inspires you for for more. So until my next video, guys, take care and I hope to see you soon. Bye now.